Hello friends! In today's news is that an extension to the Eraser tool has just been completed to make it work like the Cuts tool in Toon Boom. And this is all thanks to Poe Genie, and apologies if I've mangled your name. Working hard like the other volunteer developers to make OpenToons the best animation software out there. So thanks again to you and all the developers. So this feature has been requested for a long time and it's one of the first requests I remember seeing from Mr. Alan Dan, or as you might know him, Mr. Dan Insane, when I first started using OpenToons. Well, it's finally here. So let me show you how it works, and then stay tuned to the end and I'll show you how you can get it for yourself. So the feature only works on vector levels, and using it means that you can draw in a more relaxed way by using overlapping lines, and then switch to the erase tool to remove the overlap. Then on the Erase tool, change the type to Segment. And then you can just draw a line over the extending part. And you can draw the line over multiple parts, and it'll delete any overlapping lines. And this means that you'll find yourself redrawing lines less often when they don't quite reach. So instead of trying to draw a line that starts on the line and then ends on the line, and you might be too short, or starting on the line and accidentally going over the line and it's too long. And then you might find yourself using the control editor to select a line and then trying to move the points to align them exactly where you want them, which is just incredibly fiddly. And hopefully with this new feature, it'll also mean that fill should work a little better, with OpenTunes knowing that lines actually touch each other. So let me just take a minute, in honour of Mr. Alon Dan, to redraw, probably quite badly, one of his characters to show the feature in use. And you can see when I drew his left eye, and when I drew the body, how I can just draw the area without being concerned about what lines are overlapped, knowing that I'll remove them later. So you can see the lines that are overlapped, and simply by drawing over with the erase tool in segment mode, these are removed. So hopefully you can see how using this feature leaves you more free to be fluid with your lines, knowing you can remove the excess later. But how can you get this yourself? Well, the feature has just been merged with the main code so it's now available in the nightly build, and I've got a link to that below. But I know there's more on this coming soon. For instance, this feature doesn't work with the frame range option, but that's now being fixed today and will hopefully be in a nightly build very soon. So if you're already working on a project, you might not want to upgrade just yet, just in case there are some unforeseen problems with the build. But if you want to try this out, along with the other fixes that have been added since the official version came out, then just go to the link supplied below and download the installer. And if you've got another version of OpenTunes installed, you want to back up your OpenTunes stuff folder that's got your projects in just in case. And you can see I've done that here by renaming it 1.4. And because the nightly build installs to the same location as the official release, if you want to run both this and your current version, then rename the OpenTunes folder that's in the Program Files folder, like I've done here, where I've added 1.4 afterwards. And then once you've done both of those things, just double click the installer to install the new version. So there we go, a cutter tool in OpenTunes. Why not download it and give it a go yourself? And if you want to keep up to date with OpenTunes news, as well as getting my new OpenTunes tutorials as they come out, then why not subscribe? And hit that bell to be notified when I release a new video. So that's the news for today, and I'll see you next time for more. And that's a guarantee.